Hi guys, in this video we're going to make a little Christmas cake and we're going to decorate it like a cup of hot chocolate. So I'm just starting with a small fruit cake. This one's just four inches and I'm going to cover the top in marzipan. I've just covered it in apricot jam and I've just stuck a small circle onto the top. We'll turn it upside down and then we'll trim off the edge. Okay, so it should just look like this. Now I've put mine on quite thick but I love marzipan. You don't have to go as thick if you don't want. Then I've rolled a strip of marzipan that's going to roll around the outside edge. Just make sure it's long enough to go all the way around. Cut one edge straight. Place the straight edge all the way around the bottom. Line it up with the uh, work surface the best you can. And where it overlaps, I'm going to try and cut through both pieces. Then I'm going to pull off the bit from the front and that little bit behind. Ooh, and carefully don't stretch it as you're pulling it back together like I have done a little bit. I just use my smoothers to rub around the edge just a little bit to straighten it out. And then I'm going to trim off anything over the top edge. Then we can flip that back around the right way around. And I'm just going to put some thin bits of marzipan. I'm just going to roll some little snake shapes. I'm just going to stick these on the top. You can just use water to stick these on. So it looks like little ripples in my hot chocolate. And I've rolled a pale brown fondant, nice and thin. I don't want the fondant, fondant too thick on the top bit. And then we're just going to trim around the edge. Again, it's just water that we've used to stick this on with. So we're going to get our fondant ready for putting around the outside edge. And I've rolled some white really nice and thin. And I'm just going to use a snowflake plunger cutter to cut out some white snowflake shapes. I've also rolled a strip of pale blue fondant. Now I've used the Renshaws Extra for this, but I'll link below the video everything that I've used. Just make sure when you roll the blue that it's a little bit taller than your cake and it's a little bit longer. This time I'm going to cut both edges straight and I've just measured so that this is about a centimetre or so taller than the top of my cake. So if I place this against my cake here, can you see it's just a little bit taller and it's just about long enough there. So I'm going to trim that side and let's try and push that together. Now for my gingerbread men, I've actually, I've actually used some modelling chocolate because I thought it was a nice colour for my gingerbread men. And I'm just using a gingerbread man cutter to cut them out. One of them I've only worried about the top half of the body because he's going to be sat in the top of my cup. And to make the eyes really simple, we've just used some black sugar pearls. Again, I'll put links below to what we've used. And then let's roll a big piece of fondant in white. And it's quite a bit of fondant, so I probably won't eat all this fondant on the top here. We've rolled it into a cone shape and then just kind of twirled it round a bit. It's supposed to look like a little dollop of cream. Then we're going to stick our gingerbread man on the top. I'm just using water, some water down his front ready for his buttons to go on. Now, if he's a bit soft to start with, just put some cocktail sticks just behind him to hold him in place. Once he's firmed up, we will remove those. And I'm just putting a ball of pink and a ball of purple on for his buttons. And then I'm just going to lift that cake onto a cake board. So I've pre-iced a cake board in white. And I've got some giant marshmallows that we're just going to stick on. Now you can make them in fondant if you want, but we've already got quite a bit of fondant on this cake. Then I've got some leftover pale blue fondant. I've added some Tylos powder to this and we've rolled like a big sausage shape and we're going to curl it round to make a cup handle shape. Now I'm actually going to put some cocktail sticks into this cup handle. It does mean that anybody eating the cake will need to make sure that these cocktail sticks have been removed. I'm going to move that to one side and let that set. And then we're going to make our cup some little eyes. So I've got a circle cutter and I've cut two circles in white. It's just the fondant that I've used here. And then I've also cut two circles in black, so the same size. And then I'm going to stick the white on the black, but so it's slightly overlapped so the black sticks out a little bit from either side. Then I'll use a bit more of my pale blue that I've got left for a slightly smaller circle. And let's have our cup so it's looking upwards at the moment. And then an even smaller circle of black. Let's put that in the middle of the blue. And then a tiny little piece of black for the mouth. We're just going to curl it upwards. Don't know if you can see that very well. An even smaller circle of white. Again, just a little bit of water to hold it in place. And I don't want them to be perfect circles, so I'm just going to cut just a small bit off the bottom of each eye, just to change the shape slightly. Now, I want them to stay quite flat from the front, and because my cup is curved, I'm just adding a little ball of black. Can you see first, like that, so that... It sticks out a little bit further, and when I stick the eye on, it means the eye can stay flat. So can you see my eye still sticks out quite a bit from the side, it doesn't curve around the cup. If you want to curve it around the cup, you can do, that's fine. 
Now you can't tell from the video, but I did actually give my handle overnight to set. Because it's a fruit cake, I'm not in a rush to decorate it. We're just gonna push that into the side of our cake. And then you can add any extra little decorations you want. So I've got another gingerbread man that we've just rested against a marshmallow at the front. And we can add some thin strips of icing just to the edge of our gingerbread men's hands and feet, or arms and legs, just so there's a little bit more detail on them. And I think I'm gonna stick some sprinkles onto this bit here. So I'm just using water on that. We'll just give that water a minute or two to go tacky. And we'll roll a little candy cane. Again, it's just in fondant. You could use an actual candy cane if you prefer. We'll just lay that one on the front. Let's have a play around with what looks good where. I've got some little Christmas shaped sprinkles. Don't know if you can see those very awesome reindeer heads and holly leaves that we're just gonna add on to the top. Maybe some in the top of the hot chocolate as well. I've got some snowflake ones too. I'm not gonna go overboard with the sprinkles. One on his head maybe. Oh, a few more. Maybe I am gonna go overboard with them. <laughs> and I've taken another little candy cane piece that I had and I've rolled it into a spiral. And if I just cut, can you see like a little right angle out of it? I can pop that over the edge of my cup. So it's still a bit wet at the moment, but once, once this is dried, the shine will go off those little bits there. So there it is, all made. And of course you can use a different flavor cake if you prefer not to use a fruit cake. If you've not seen our other Christmas cake videos, do check them out. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.